Hey everyone, this is Rocky from WeLearnChess.com and today I wanted to give you a little preview of the new version of uh, Chess.com, V3 I think they're calling it. It's still in beta but I think it's really close to coming out. Um, I had tried it uh, way earlier this year, like I don't know, six, eight months ago or something. Maybe even last year, I don't, I don't remember. It was still pretty buggy so I kind of got out of it um, and just kept using the old one. But um, one of the support staff had let me know that it's, uh, you know, reminded me about it, I guess is better to say. So I, I switched to it and it's, uh, it's really nice. So it looks like it's basically ready, maybe some minor, some minor tweaks. Uh, so I'll show you how to get to this version in a second. Um, but I just wanted to show you the login screen. So the first thing, when you have a new interface for any sort of program or in this case website, um, you know, you'll hear a lot of people say like, oh, it's, you know, it's annoying that I can't get to this, this, or this. It's just because they haven't taken the time to learn where the stuff is. And it is a little bit annoying at first where you have to relearn everything, you know, where everything is. But, you know, you quickly get a feel for it. And um, you'll see that there's actually a lot of advantages to the new version. I actually like this a lot better. Um, it's very clean. It's mobile responsive. Uh, and uh, there's more options to different parts of the site, which is even the best part. So uh, first thing is when you get to the main screen, you have to see your login down here at the right. Uh, you can also quickly look down and see the latest articles and things like that. Um, but okay, I'm going to log in, obviously. And uh, once you log in, uh, you'll see that it's, um, you know, the, the site is mobile responsive now, so it's designed with a few um, columns here, like a, sort of a main area and a couple sidebars. Uh, and the idea is that if you have a smaller screen um, that you can still basically use all the functions. So even if I squish it a lot here, um, you know, it takes a lot, it takes a really squish screen to not, to not be able to see this, this controls on the side here, but basically you're going to at least be able to see the icon so you can get to the different things like chat and friends and, you know, playing and things like that. But chances are, you're going to be able to see at least this much. So you'll also be able to quickly get to your stats. Uh, you can quickly start a game here, see which friends are online, things like that. Uh, and I think if you're playing on a computer or probably uh, probably even like a fairly big screen tablet, like an iPad, you should be able to even see the words next to the icons. Uh, although I haven't tried that yet. Okay, but um, anyway, I like to play on my desktop because I just feel like it's, it's bigger and easier to see. But everybody has their preference. Okay, so... Um, I wanted to show a couple different things, but I guess in this video, I'll just keep it. I'll just show you the interface and I'll show you how to get to it. And then we'll, we'll look at a couple different things. So um, you have your home screen over here, obviously. You can quickly go to the live chess server, um, which is nice. And I like that it's clutter free. Uh, even my background is still like the settings are correct. So like that was one of the one of the issues. I think when I was making my video on how to change your chess.com background was that it was still using like odd colors, um, stuff that I didn't, hadn't chosen for the new. For the new one but anyway um okay so this is the top game the clocks are a little bit different so it's highlighted when it's the person's turn to move i think yeah this will highlight here in white for white and this will highlight um, like dark gray or black for black uh you got your moves here um really nice you always have to you have to look on the new chess.com you kind of have to look for icons for things that you want to do um you can close out this game by hovering over there and that's how you can see how to play your new game obviously you can you know, you can change these uh, challenges here. And, um, you know, if you click on the time, you can pick one of the the standard ones. I really like this 5-5, five, five, by the way, if you haven't played this yet. It's nice. Um, nice amount of increment, at least for me, because I'm a little bit slower. Uh, I've got your chat and everything. Okay, so um, you can go to all sorts of stuff. I know some people don't use this daily chess. I, I haven't used it too much, but, um, you know, you can go down and see... Um, your last few games actually is on the home screen too. So, um, but here you can take a look at uh, the top games, leaderboard, tournaments. It's kind of fun to look at the leaderboard sometimes. I don't really do that that often. Um, you've got your game archive, still links to your stats, which is nice. So these are currently who's who's at the top here. My rank. Yeah, I like on this home screen that you can jump right to your. These are your last few games. <laughs> I lost my last few due to my Wi-Fi going out, which is really annoying doesn't happen too often but um but it, you can see your tactics rating you know how you're doing on um chess mentor the lessons uh you know you can see your bullet blitz standard ratings and go right there so you know let's say you get a preview here and then you can go to full stats and then 
this is pretty similar to before, but even some of these back screens, you'll see that they have a little more like um, when you go to Chess Mentor, uh, you can kind of see your progress more visually than before. They had they had this stuff before, but um, it wasn't as pretty, I guess. And um, yeah, it looks like I haven't done the end game courses. Maybe that's why I stink at end games. <laughs> I got to get on this Chess Mentor because this is this is really one of the best parts of the site. I mean, it's like Tactics Trainer is excellent too. But this, when you go through these chess mentor lessons, you really can see, you know, what they explain to you in more detail rather than you just looking at a computer line after. Like if you miss a tactic and go in, you, know, you can check it and see what the best line was. And that's cool. Oh, that's great, actually. But uh, in a chess mentor lesson, I can guess I can show an example in another video. Um, they explain to you why moves are wrong and why moves are right. And for somebody like who's still learning a lot, um, it's like I feel like after a couple of years I still know like <laughs> not even one percent about chess, but um, <clears throat> but yeah, I always am interested to know why something's not really good or why something's good, and, and chess mentor is excellent for that. So uh, okay, so you can get into your tournaments, you can play the computer, obviously. We can take a look and see what that looks like. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Like uh, still got the other colored backgrounds, but anyway, you can change this stuff. There's always little icons below, like in these sidebar screens, you can find, uh, okay, like flipping the board, settings, analysis board, downloading the PGN, sharing the game. Um, and those will change based on what you're in, like Texas tra Texas trainer or whatever. But, um, you know, that's what you want to look for icons a lot of times. So um, some people might find that a little bit difficult if they want to see words, but you'll get used to it. Uh, and then, of course, there's all this other stuff here, you know, just similar things that we saw. Um, I don't see anything that's, like, missing from the site, um, at least that I use. Um, your game archives down here. You can change your theme right from here, which I didn't even see. Um, so that's pretty cool. They've got some visual previews here. We can take a look at that. And, uh, yeah, this is nice. Okay, so um, obviously you can look around and see, you know, more stuff, what you want to do here. But um, I just wanted to give a little preview. And if you can't get into this, um, I'll show you here. Oh, you can report a bug too, which is great. I'm going to go to the oldchess.com just so you can see. Whatever your screen is in your oldchess.com, you just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of your screen, and there's a try new chess.com link here. And that's how you get to the new one. And I, I'd say it's worth using now at this point. It's definitely very nice. Get used to it. Uh, it'll give you a chance. You can still report bugs. Um, I'm sure you can do it after they finish too, but you can still report bugs where they're actively working on it. So if you have an idea, something that you think looks a little weird or could be improved, you can let them know by clicking on this link here. So okay, I hope you enjoy the new uh, chess.com. Um, again, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just uh, really like to play on the site and uh, maybe see you around sometime for a game.